Okay, good morning. Today, we're going to be working on equivalent fractions, and this is clue three in this week's mystery. And it says, crack the code by writing the missing numerator or denominator to make the paired fractions equivalent. Now, what does equivalent mean? It means the same. Use your completed equ uh, equivalent fraction answer to match and place the letters in the boxes to reveal the clue. Put the letter in every box that it matches your answer in. There may be more than one. Okay, so they've given you one of the equivalent fractions. Like here, they had 12, and over here is 3. So what times 3 makes 12? That's right, 4. So whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. That's how they got 8. All right, so what times 4 is 28? That's right, 7. So 1 times 7, because whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top, is 7. So 1 fourth is equivalent to or equal to 7 28ths. Now, I'm going to go up into my clues, and wherever there's a 7 28ths, I'm going to put an E. And knowing E is a popular letter, there's probably going to be a few of them. Okay. All right, what times four gives me 12? Three, whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. Whatever you do to the top, you have to do to the bottom. Three times seven, 21. So, four sevenths is equivalent to 1221. Wherever there's a 1221, you're going to put a T. Okay, take a minute and do the next one. Ask yourself what times three is 24. Whatever that is, you do that to the bottom. We know three times eight is 24, and so we're going to do the same to the bottom. I ate and I ate, I got sick on the floor. Eight times eight is 64. 24, 64 is an R. Okay, carry on in the same manner to fill in the clue and be able to eliminate more places. Good luck.